Give this poem to a mother. Not your own, but another, like a stranger discovered for no other reason than the fact that she is. Get out your scissors, some ribbon and glue for this very important work we will do, folding colorful paper corner to corner because nobody warned her. Single life as a woman has strife as a parent. She did not always bear it with grace, and it shows on her face. Give this poem to a girl who at first was defiled and then had a child who was born in a blessed event from a crime unprevented. Though she fought him to stop it, now her baby's adopted. They will not let her meet him until he's 18. What will she do with the time in between? I suppose you might also give her some roses. So reach for the good pen that's not out of ink when you write her address on the envelope, think of her pain. Say that her sacrifice was not in vain. Perhaps when you feel you can steal a peek at her secrets, she's brave. She will take them to the grave when she goes, and none in her family knows. Give this poem to a mother, somebody you find, and I'm not sure whom you might have in mind. I trust you to show her, even if you don't know her, but go to her with love. She will believe you and maybe receive you on an ordinary day, not just on the second Sunday in May. When you read her this poem, you're confirming her worth, despite those she gave birth to who are not so inclined or too far away. This honor we pay. So if you see her, or even if you happen to be her, as long as you live, and for nothing more than the fact that she is, go and give this poem to a mother and tell her I wrote it for her. <laughs>